This video is a sequel to the one I produced exploring the creation of a bubble montage. It seeks to demonstrate how a reflection can be created on the surface of the bubble. It is not a tutorial, rather it is an invitation to see the lessons that I learned in the hope that it will help you explore serif affinity photo for yourself. Just for fun, I am using the new serif affinity photo 1.6 beta version. It has a number of new features and still has a few faults that need to be sorted out. One option in the new Affinity Photo 1.6 is to choose a light user interface, which I will be using for the rest of this video. First open the image, that is to become the reflection. If possible, choose an image with a glass pane with catch lights in it like this French window. It is best to get the overall size compatible with the size of the bubble before proceeding further, so this image is resized to 800 pixels wide, which is compatible with the bubble I made in the last video. Select the pen tool. I set the stroke width to one pixel so that we can all see what is going on more easily. An irregular quadrilateral is drawn over the picture. The node tool is in the same drop-down menu as the pen tool. Click in the middle of each side of the quadrilateral with the node tool and draw it into a curve, using the control handles to make the curve relatively even. If the process results in a sharp corner being introduced, click on the curved icon in the context toolbar to convert it to a curve. We can now set the stroke to zero points. Now we revert to the pen tool and click on the selection option in the context toolbar. The next stage is to feather the selection a little. Invert the selection and press delete. This creates a soft edged selection. Next we crop the image to size. In order to avoid complications further on, I prefer at this point to copy the image flattened and create a new file from the clipboard. This gets rid of the baggage of the unseen part of the image affecting operations later on. Now we will add a little more curvature to this image using the Mesh Warp tool. It is important to adjust the handles at the corners to give the curve the correct shape. As an aside, the wheel on a three-button mouse has been reassigned to zoom the image in and out in Affinity Photo 1.6. I think this is an improvement. Don't be like me and forget to click Apply. I have found it best to make the remaining adjustments with the reflection approximately in position on the bubble, which is now opened, and the bubble image pasted on as a new layer. It is moved roughly into position and approximately resized. Then it is renamed Window in the Layers panel.
first live adjustment is a spherical filter which gives the image an appearance of curvature wrapping around the surface of the bubble. The live perspective filter with the grid switched off is used to give a tombstone effect to the reflection. Now a live lens distortion filter is added. Oops, I hadn't noticed that this filter was added to the top of the stack and not nested inside the window layer. I'm not sure whether this ripple filter is necessary, but I left it in at a very low radius. Again I added the Gaussian blur filter at the top of the stack and not nested and had to backtrack and put that situation right. To compensate for the reduction in opacity, a brightness layer is added. The image layer is switched on and the position of the window and the opacity of the bubble can be adjusted to produce the desired effect. that's all there is to it.